Hey everybody, Clayton here with Action VFX. In this quick tip tutorial, we are going to be compositing a burn from our new Gore Textures collection. They come in both PNG and OpenEXR files. With the EXR files, you have the option to separate and refine the individual passes like specular, subsurface scattering, and even the individual light settings. We're going to stick with the PNG for this tutorial to keep things simple. First, create a new composition and place the wound on the skin. Scale and rotate it to match the perspective and lighting of the scene. I think the oval shape of this one is too clean for the look I'm going for. So let's go ahead and mask out a more jagged shape. Mask around the wound and add a feather of 75 to smooth out the edges a little bit. Now let's match the colors to our subject. Add a curves effect and we'll match the brightness of the scene and also add just a little bit of green. Now add a hue and saturation effect and we will alter the hue for a warmer shade of red and desaturate it just a touch. These settings will vary based off the lighting and subject of your scene. The burn is looking a little too sharp for the scene, so let's add a Gaussian blur of 5. Now that it's matching the look, let's take it to the next level. I'm going to create some fractal noise and use it as a luma mat to give the burn a more broken up look. Create a new solid and add fractal noise. So with the fractal noise, we're going to set the fractal type to terrain. We're going to set the noise type to linear. We will increase the contrast to 108 and decrease the brightness. We'll also turn down the complexity. And we'll change the evolution and go to something like 234, that works. And here's our fractal noise. So now what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll scale it down and we'll line it up over the burn. Then go to the burn layer and change the track mat to a luma mat. Now you can see the areas of transparency were the dark areas in our fractal noise. So we can take this and move it around and line it up to where it looks best for the wound. That's looking great. These wounds are designed with customization in mind, especially when utilizing the EXR passes. I hope you all enjoyed this quick tip tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for even more content coming in the future. This is Clayton with ActionVFX.com. Thanks for watching.